Alex, let's go to the surface of Mars and do this. You you just want to get us killed on Mars. Yeah. You want to be the first streamer on Mars. I want to get run over by the Mars rover. <laughs> Rise and shine, gamer campers. It's a new week, a new Monday, mm -hmm. and we've got multimedia here for you on this Multimedia Monday. How's everyone doing? Hope you're Hi. awake. Hope you're uh, having a good day so far. Hope to kick off the week in style with uh, some of your favorite licensed characters. <laughs> yes! And, and some demented CD-ROMs based on them. <laughs> I have no idea what to, to expect today. This stream is all Alex, so I'm immediately shifting all blame to him. Any complaints, direct them to him, not mm -hmm. to me. I don't want to hear it. Yeah, I'm, you have I'm, to yell at me. I'm here suffering with you. I don't even know what I'm about to say. No, Danny actually doesn't even know the lineup. It's secret only to me. Oh, man. Well, I assume it's uh, at least safe for work. <laughs> I hope I hope for that much. I hope we still have a channel after this stream. But uh... No, it's safe. It's safe. Okay. All right. I'll trust you. Well, before we get started, I got some folks to thank. Thank you, Born Plegernet. 49 month resub holy shit thank you thank you for the 49 so we have ban alex and ban danny rewards but after seeing the sonic superstar stream macro danny alex rewards when well guess what <laughs> i became big during that big! stream oh my god i figured out how to do it <laughs> oh no it's all big! over now this is it okay this is the end of retro pals <laughs> Alex figured out how to become big. That's all you're going to see from now on. Thank you. And thank you to Bort Ward for the 14-month resub. Doonesbury screensaver, the best screensaver. Yeah, let's show the audience a screensaver. I didn't here. know this existed. It's it's amazing. It's this entire sequence, too, of people peeping on each other. It's so strange. Look at this. You got him, me you when got I'm, her. Me when I'm thinking of Doonesbury. And then he's like, hey, I'm thinking about Doonesbury, baby. Thank you for the sub. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank it. you. And then it's going to peep again. Oh, she's watching. Is gonna, someone going to be watching her? Dude, this is just like an infinite uh, well infinite of, of Doonesbury's being spied upon. Whatever, just it. Yeah, Doonesbury is an American political comic. I don't know if it's still running. Oh, man. Yeah, other people outside of America wouldn't know what Doonesbury is. Well, good. <laughs> if you want to <laughs> if you want to do your own research on that you can it is a long running political themed comic that somehow still exists somehow still is uh, relevant mm -hmm. I don't know how there's also a Doonesbury game which uh, we're not going to play today no but we're not we're going to feature much more popular and much more well liked characters here today starting with uh, Sailor Moon so this is the infamous 3D adventures of Sailor Moon if you've never seen this before I haven't uh, okay well prepare for something Hold on. Can't wait for the non-stop center-left comedy. <laughs> <laughs> if you're a middle-of-the-road gamer, you will love, you will love Doonesbury. <laughs> All right, then my computer. Oh, boy. You, see, you might see that this is called 3VR. The VR isn't, isn't kidding. There are some VR sequences, so... V VR, huh? This is from when? Do you <laughs> want to play the Sailor Moon game? I, I'm well, not, Danny, do you? Suddenly, I'm not so sure. But yeah, let's say yes. Three. VR. Is that like 3DO? Oh, fancy. Mm-hmm. This suddenly looks like a Sasquatchless intro, which has me very worried. <laughs> and I, in fact, I think that's where I've seen this. <laughs> Do you like them? Yeah. Can we dance with them in VR? No. Aww. Do you like this? Wow. These marionettes are really high tech. <laughs> An MMD from 2006, yeah. It is. 
Oh, here they go. Oh, man. Get it, girls. Thank you, Carmen, for the 100 bits. Let's go, girls. JP Ronnie, thank you so much for the 79-month resub. Yeah, do you like this? 79, amazing. Thank amazing. you. Do you like her? <laughs> it's a good queen girl. I'm just going to hide behind the bush. My work here is done. <laughs> yeah, they got the cats. Whoa, windmill. That's... <laughs> I think it's amazing that there's a 3DO Sailor Moon game that has something transformational items. very similar, but different. Welcome to the 3D Adventures of Sailor Moon. Oh man, it's Cookie's Your Bustle in Blombo World featuring Sailor Moon. Hidden transformational items as you explore the various play areas. Click on the cats, Arnimus or Luna, if you need help. Anytime during the game, you can quit by clicking on the quit button. Have fun! Spectre Man, thank you for the 25 thank you, bits. Thank you. I'm glad you test with this game. It's it's good. This is different from the 3DO Sailor Moon game. It's it's 100% different. The intro different. is quite similar, but <laughs> this is a, a different game, far as I know. So you have to go to each of these areas, find an item that's kind of random, and then you get to go, uh, and that's how you beat the game. We are probably not going to beat the game. I was unable to find all items after hours of playing. So. Oh, well, good luck. Well, we will do a little bit. So let's go here first. It's, uh, I don't know what this is. It's the Galactic Moon Library. Oh, good. Do you like the music in this game? It's very you dreamy. Entered the Galactic Moon, Moon Library. Library. Check out Check the out top, top secret, secret files of, of Sailor, Sailor Mercury, Mercury it's Mars, Mars, Venus, Venus Jupiter, Jupiter, it's Doom. Sailor Moon. Can you turn it up for us a little? This is a... Uh, our computer is... Vastly overclocked, it looks like, here at the Sailor Moon uh, Bat Cave. When Lita shouts Jupiter power, she transforms into Sailor Jupiter, the oh eldest dedicated member of the Sailor Scouts. Sailor Jupiter has the power Could she over speak more to the mic? <laughs> and can crash anything anywhere with a supreme thunder crash attack. She loves to cook and dreams of becoming a master chef with her own restaurant. Maybe one of the reasons why she is so supportive of Serena is because Serena always loves her cooking and is glad to share. Confidential. Nobody tell anyone about this. And then hear photos of her. This this voice acting is Sonic Schoolhouse core to me. Including the being too close to the mic. Power, Very too close to the mic. Into Sailor Moon. Serena sometimes wishes she was just an ordinary kid. But long ago, she was chosen to be the leader of the Sailor Scouts. She possesses the Imperial Silver Crystal, a very powerful tool for protecting the universe against the evil forces of the Yeah, universe. I like eating video games. She has amazing powers against all evil. Serena is not always courageous and is sometimes very fearful. But with the help and encouragement from her friends, she always succeeds. She will always be a dedicated fighter for love and Is this justice. a CIA dossier briefing that you're sending me through? Uh-huh. We have to hunt down these girls. When Lita shouts Jupiter power, when Amy shouts Mercury power, she transforms into Sailor Mercury, also known as the Brilliant Fighter. Do we like Sailor Mercury? To work hard in Mercury, and is as, he, as she's called here. And a whiz on the computer. She's a whiz she on the computer. She uses a special do computer for downloading information <laughs> about the enemy. Her dream is to become a doctor someday. But right now, her life as a Sailor Scout is very important to her. Sailor Mercury has the power over water sending a blast of bubbles to confuse and fog out the enemy. Is this like a the Scottsdale, Arizona educational thing telling you uh, to decide which Sailor Scout you want to be when you grow up? <laughs> I thought that's where I recognized it from, Sass. Yeah, this is this is total Sass core. When Lita shouts Jupiter When Lita shouts Jupiter power, when Ray shouts Jupiter Mars power, power, she, she likes transforms vegetarian into Sailor pizza. Mars. A That's dedicated cool. and passionate she dislikes fighter. TV. Sailor Mars wow. has a unique ability Ahead of the curve, she doesn't even own a TV. Near. She doesn't, look she at her. She uses a Japanese scroll to fend off bad spirits. She has the power over fire and can send a stream of fireballs with her Mars fire Every time Alex asks, attack. do you like, it sounds like, well, really do you pervert listener, is coming up next. Has a bad temper. <laughs> That's, the, that's the sense I always got. She hates TV, but she's on TV. It's a necessary evil. When Lita shouts Jupiter, when, when Lita, when Mina shouts Venus power, 
She transforms into you Sailor Venus, each of these known as the yeah, superhero, no, all and over I'm town. Pretty sure it's randomized. Sailor Venus's special power is a beam Thank of energy. Thank you, Professor Gaskin, for the 100 bits of retro pals are the ones attack. on whom I can depend. She's well, a great we negotiator. Tried. We are the one and named Retro Pals. Thank the you. Scouts to work as a team to battle against the evil forces. Any possible. She sometimes takes charge and becomes the leader, Linguini, especially Fettuccine. when her friends need extra encouragement and reinforcement. That's all the pastas I know. Macaroni. When Mina shouts, when Mina, Darian always mask. appears out of nowhere. He dislikes making girls mask. cry. <laughs> to help he has no favorite subject. Trouble, <laughs> he carries a magical red rose his name is to Darian. announce his presence. When he battles against evil forces, this rose becomes. He doesn't a have a favorite subject. No, he's out of enemy. school. I think. Oh, I see. When Lita shouts, Jupiter. Rini is the youngest of the group. She is very important for the future of the Sailor Scout. Her favorite her food mission is, is to find the like silver that? crystal. We got plenty in for order her. To save her mother's we life, do. Need to Let's invite her in over. Future. Girl, Chibi Yusa, we've got some butterscotch. I appreciate that there's different handwriting power, for each uh, each ID card, as if the girls wrote it in themselves. Hold on. It's that little shit. <laughs> this is Chibi Yusa. When uh, shouts, well received. I don't know how to ask that. I don't know either. I don't think so. Serena sometimes wishes God, she was just an ordinary kid. Thing, but, you gotta scroll, but long ago, scroll, she was chosen. Until you find it. When Amy yeah, shouts you gotta Mercury get informed. Power, she transforms into Sailor Mercury. Also what are you looking for, exactly? Amy loves items, to work hard we'll in school. Say, and you got the latest transformational item. Don't you mean, you got the latest transformational Yeah. Really? well. We still have the pudding. It's good till May. That stuff keeps. Hold on. I haven't eaten any in a couple of months. Darian but, uh, always appears out of nowhere as Tuxedo Mask. Started watching live pal streams in 2022, and it feels like they've had that pudding forever. It's like There's I said, it keeps. Play areas for the okay, we're going to go back to that play items. area later, but it's contains really boring one. to go through this Try one. To we're going to do something more interesting. We are going to the Moon Fashion Salon. Oh, goodness. Do you like fart, music? Fart, 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 fart. Welcome to Sailor Moon's 3D Fashion Salon. Take some time in the most reputable saloon She just learned town. how to walk. You can visit Sailor Moon and the other Sailor Scouts and admire their super fantastic costumes. I'm admiring, all right. Or try fitting them with a new fashion. You decide what they need to make them all more this beautiful. This is the fartiest fashion show I've ever seen. You can create your own makeup Sailor transformation. Have fun. <laughs> Sailor Mercury always loves to wear blue because it's her favorite color. Oh. These 3D models. Sailor Mars looks good in red. Are almost which is a good. Symbol of a mm -hmm. dedicated fighter. They're just a little off. They're a little blomby. A little, little bit blomby. Sailor Jupiter wears Welcome green. Welcome, Swell Time Chief. Well, this is evil forces. <laughs> hey, the powering Will. force of a thunderstorm. I'm seeing this for the first time and I'm amazed. People should rip these models to put in VR chat. I agree. Sailor Venus wears orange because she is a dynamic fighter. Whose ah. special weapon is a powerful beam of energy. Oh. Only wear orange if you're a dynamo. This is Tuxedo Mask in his famous <laughs> fighting tuxedo outfit. As you can Why see, get... black is his favorite color. This is not AI generated <laughs> voice. It is just terrible. Thank Bro you, Broken Scholar, for the 56 months. Thank you All for right. this. Uh... So let's dress these ladies. Here's AI, Sailor Moon in AI her could never uniform. give you something that's amazing. Click on her now to see what so else she can. Oh, you can give her you can give her regular pants. I have some complaints. Mm -hmm. You can only pick one item from each uh, category. So if I wanted to give her this horrible looking thing, uh -huh. and let's say I wanted her to wear, see if I change this, it takes it off of her. So I can't. Oh, I see. So yeah, if I wanted to wear something from the previous page, I couldn't. But how about this, this, mm -hmm. and. Oh yeah. <laughs> Do we like this? I love it. Oh, wait, hold on, hold on. Fashion icon. Oh yeah. You can take a picture, and you can print it out. Let's do another Sailor Looking Scout. Looking like a villain from The Mask or some shit. Sailor Mercury always loves to wear blue because it's her do favorite like color. I like love this? that look. That's a perfect look. Do you look. like that jacket? I want to. I want to go outside looking like this, just wearing a jacket. Do you like this skirt? What happened? That skirt. 
is going to destroy someone's bitrate. <laughs> that skirt is making me nauseous. I actually have to change. Hold so on. these, so these ma these models actually have been ripped. So if you want to actually work them in VR chat or do other things with them. Oh, it's got little bees. There you go. Little bees. Why not this? This <laughs> girl here in the military. Boop. With some military shoes. You like her? I love the military shoes. One high heel. One high heel. These are all awful. I hope when you hit whoa, print... Whoa, 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 hold on, hold on. I saw something really good. I hope when you hit print, it's somehow printing it out on someone who's watching his uh, printer. Oh, unfortunately, print doesn't work. I tried. Damn. Okay, and you got some egg. And a uh, spatula. And uh, the world's worst jacket. Now she's ready to work in the CDI face kitchen. And why not? <laughs> Come on. Oh, this is too much? Layers are in. Okay, let's see what uh, she's got. Sailor Mars looks good in red, which is the symbol of a dedicated fighter. She looks kind of pissed about this. A little bit, yeah. She's not too Look happy. Look at the bell bottom. She's oh, not happy yeah. about being seen in her underwear. This reminds me of Kiss Dolls. You remember Kiss Dolls? Yeah. Yeah, except the Kiss Dolls are way more full-featured. This kind of sucks in comparison. Red is dedicated. Orange is dynamic. Oh, okay. It's true. Okay, she's got the hat. Uh, she got this. The backwards ball cap. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what, That's sick. You don't need shoes. <laughs> No. What she message does this outfit send? Uh, shoes are for fools. Hey, Ultra is legal. Ultra Pancake, welcome. Thank you. We're deep in the multimedia already. Why are those all in the same set? Sailor <laughs> Jupiter wears green to fight against evil forces with the oh. power and force of a thunderstorm. All right, this is going to be Danny mode here. Hold on. Wear green if you want to fight against evil forces. Oh my god, that is way too racy. <laughs> Less racy. Hold on. <laughs> Oof. There we go. All right. Okay. Yeah. No pants. No shoes. I I I guess you should wear pants. There we go. It's like, girl, you gotta wear your layers right. Oh, that's a Danny right there. That's a Danny. Here, I'm putting you in a, a really bad top hat. Oh yeah, you look like <laughs> shit in these trans shoes. Milady. There we go. Usually I found the item by now, but I guess they I was thinking that, yeah, she looking like King from Art of Fighting. Well whatever, if the game doesn't want to give me any of the random moon items, I'm good. Alright, next up. Sailor Venus wears orange because she is a dynamic fighter, whose special weapon is a powerful beam of energy. Plop. Remember people wearing dresses like this with the shirts underneath the spaghetti straps and everything? Yeah. You remember that? that? was great. Bring that back. Let's bring that back, for real. That's a 90s look I, I, you can bring back. Folks, oh my god. That is so big and hideous. Put it around her neck. <laughs> I actually kind of like that look. Do they have, uh, what is it, Sailor Jupiter's uh, pink overalls in this? Uh, no. Damn. Okay, this, 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 and... How long do I have to stay posed like this? This is uncomfortable. Ma'am. Okay. And... Wow, you're beautiful. I can't believe they didn't include the pink overalls. That is... that's bullshit. This is Tuxedo Mask in his famous fighting tuxedo outfit. <laughs> As you can see, black is his favorite color. Please take off my clothes. You look so mad. So usually by this time I found that, again, what happens is you click around and randomly a voice says, You found the secret idol. He's really not happy to be here this time. No, night. he hates this. He's like, come on. <laughs> These are all bad, too. This isn't... <laughs> I'm going to dress him like me. Come on, come on. Anything? Do we got anything good for our boy here? No Damn, wonder he's I guess so not. mad. Alright, let's do these shoes. And do this shirt. Wow. I guess these pants. I guess? I guess. Fuck it. Why is Tux No, wait, wait, wait. What are these these hats? Why is Tuxedo Mask so popular? He looks like a dork. He's stupid looking. Print that out. 
it so I can keep it and put it up on my wall. Perfect. You look like shit, King. <laughs> Try clicking around again. Here's it's not giving you those items, you. I think. No, it's not! It's Click super funny! To see it doesn't want you to finish this. Sailor Mercury. Yeah, stick it on the fridge. Alright, well, you saw that part. Search Let's the listen. various play areas for the... Let's go to the Moon Castle TV show. Ooh, we want a free TV. Mm-hmm. So this is just AMDs. Hell yeah. Not enough Uba's tank for this to be an AMV, but I'll accept it. This is totally AMV though, right? Like, yeah, it is. What is this for? It's to spark your imagination so you can put your favorite uh, Papa Roach music behind it and make your own. New pre-show music? Maybe. This probably isn't copyrighted. Turn that down. Do you like the song? I love it. I like the incomprehensible screaming. Wow. Oh, these are all focused on the individual girls. Yeah, like yeah. Like an AMV would that's be. That's what, like an AMV, right? It, these are literally AMVs. They're the same style where it's singularly character focused. Time to music, and it is time to music. It actually, you know, has some good cuts here. It's crazy that they did this for, like, a fucking, this multimedia CD, which has, like, look at these balloons. These balloons are dog shit. I'm going to assume this disc is America exclusive. I think so, yeah. I think Japan would have uh, better <laughs> multimedia adaptations of Sailor Moon. Oh, no, for sure. Not to say that this isn't the best thing I've ever seen. I love those clip art balloons. Japan wouldn't stand for this shit. Don't see the mask. People still make AMVs, don't worry. Oh, I'm sure they do. Oh yeah, I've seen them. Excuse me, face boosted. <laughs> So badass. I want to be him. That that's it. That's all you get. Oh, all right. Got a moody Sailor Mercury piece. Moody Mercury. Excuse me, Mercury. Mercury. All she does is turn around and look wistful. Turn only. I can tell this is based on the dub. Very much so. Yeah, totally. Oh, here we go. You ready? Oh, hell yeah. I love the VHS rip quality of the video, by the way. Mm -hmm. Oh, God, that looks so bad. It does. It looks like... <laughs> you can see the interference. It looks like a fan sub. I love it. This is like a fifth generation tape at best. energetic music for orange when you wear orange good ah uh, here we fucking go this is what usagi gets this fucking clown music her name's serena danny i mean uh yeah serena excuse me yeah but serena's kind of a clown true this is real penis music hours I'm also like Serena. I love ice cream. Yeah. Ice cream fucking rocks. Ice cream fucks. Ice cream does fuck. Did I tell you I made a Sunday the other night? A custom one after the one you bought? Yeah. Man, you're Sunday pilled. I am Sunday pilled right now. Bonk, 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 bonk. Here's a moody bonk, one. Bonk. Yeah, yeah. I took a scoop of ice cream and then I chopped up a banana over it and then put chocolate syrup on top. 
I highly recommend it. It's called the 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 Sunday that's easy to make with the shit I have in my house. <laughs> Thank you, Sheriff Ram, for the twenty one month resub. Kermit H to you too. That's twenty one of them. Thank 21 you. Twenty one H's to you as well. Thank you, Sheriff. We're playing the most amazing Sailor Moon game I've ever seen in my life. Do you really like it? It's great. Let me tell you, there's a lot of bad Sailor Moon games out there. There really are. It's great. Yeah, this is the AMV segment of the of the program. It's weirdly down tempo, tempo, down tempo and mellow. This one makes you think about being a Sailor Scout. She's struggling with being a Sailor Scout, I assume. Can you change the border? Is it tied to the videos? It's I believe tied it's to tied video, to the yeah. yeah. Red button is when I want to touch it again. Moon TV. They're they're in France now? Oh, okay, they're teamed up. Alright, sick. Ready for some sick shit? I guess it's gonna be all their transformations or whatever. Oh, I see, I see. I gotta say it! I don't think the Moon TV subscription is worth it. <laughs> Not like, when there's so many other subscription services Like, I know it's only $9.99 a month, but like... We've not played the Tex Murphy games. I do want to play those eventually because they are full motion video. And I love that I FMV. got it. That's great. Sailor Mars will be so happy to have our transformational pen back. That's great. Sailor See? Mars will be so happy. See what I mean where it's just completely random? Yeah, so I got it somehow. And you see, it stops spinning when you've got nine. Item. Continue your search for the remaining four. Moon TV used to be four ninety nine. Now it's nine ninety nine months, but two dollars extra if you want to upgrade to two forty p. Are you ready for the crystal fighting arena? Oh yeah. I didn't know there was fighting in this. On to all the targets. Click on the left <laughs> mouse button to move forward. Click on the right mouse button. Alex, I was, I was not properly briefed for this. The moving targets and blast them to bits. Okay, here we fucking go. This is really impossible, and I've never done it. <laughs> hey, Logan. No, you haven't missed anything. We're still on the first game. You, s you missed some amazing AMVs, though. What a... I must have you missed... You can't go backwards, by the way. I must have missed this episode. Oh, you can't go backwards. That's cool. Is your score dropping? It, it is. It is. It's a time thing. It's dropping like a freaking alt alt altimeter. We're going to crash. Yeah, at times like this, I wish we had a turbo button on the PC to slow it down. I do too. So, I've never gotten 22 of these. It's it's genuinely impossible. Yeah, especially running at the speed it's, it's running at. And because, yeah, the little mad ball creatures just keep moving. I can get it down to two, but then they're like, they have impossible patterns that you can't see their patterns. This is a really good looking Atari Jaguar game. Really shows off the hardware. Are you killing bouncers? <laughs> this is the, the Sailor Moon of Death trick. Where did you learn to fly? Here. 14 left. Come on. Come on, you little freaks. You little freaks. They don't look like bouncers to me. They look like those little miniature pumpkins. They look like mad balls. Or mad balls. Do you like this? Yeah, Krongo, just go to sleep. You're hallucinating this. Yeah, this is a COVID symptom. You see these guys. You're going to wake up and be like, oh, they were just, uh, they were just playing Phoenix games. I, I must have imagined this. So how many of these do you think I can destroy? I just noticed the cat face in the lower right corner. <laughs> That's really good. It's fine. It's I'm the Luna Ball. Luna's a mad ball now. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. This... What episode is this from? Uh, this is from the episode uh, Deke Presents Mad Balls, a co-pro, or whatever. Oh, man. Sailor Moon gross jokes. 
Okay, I've got six left. I'm pretty proud of this. This is one of my better performances. I practice this so much, Danny. Yeah. Yes. Then four. If I can get these all... I'll be proud of you. You should be proud of me. Okay. Okay. Fuck you. See, they move. The cat in the corner is Chibi Moon, a cat balloon that turns into a gun. I see. Then why can't you just pull out a gun and shoot these things? Girl. Two to go. I'm not gonna get these two. You gotta do it. You gotta do it. Okay. Okay, everybody, stay calm. Season four was summed up by its suffer worm. Season four does not sound good. See how they just... Hmm? Hmm? Yeah, there it is. Okay, okay. It moved. Should mention this is all uh, mouse controlled. There's no wazed. No wazed. Oh, just, trust me. I. This is just 100%. 100% mouse controlled. Season 4 was when Chibi Moon fell in love with a horse. Okay, it's fine. See what I mean when he gets the last two? It's like you're in hell. Yeah, they just bounce right in front of your face and you can't touch them. Remember when Supergirl fell in love with a horse? Why is everyone falling in love with horses? I thought the horse fell in love with Supergirl, not not vice versa. And Supergirl's horse was like had a thing for her the entire time. No, look it up. Supergirl's horse is a magic uh, thinking talking horse, and it has a huge crush on her, but it can't say anything. It's really weird. They may have stopped that after like the '60s. <laughs> There's some extremely interesting backstory and lore on this. I'm gonna assume all of this is real. Chibi Moon uses a Colt M19, the preferred gun of magical girls. This game was made to torture women. <laughs> this is this is an anti. This, this is a misogynist, is a misogynist game. game. Yes. <laughs> They're like, hey, little girls, do you want to get fucking tortured by these horrible mad balls? Oh, you want to have fun with a video game featuring characters you like and is for you? Fuck you. Fuck you, buddy. All right, I'm giving this one more minute and then I'm calling it quits. Come on. You're right. Ah! Best, best I've ever done. Never done better than this. Holy okay. shit. Holy shit. Oh, it moved. Fuck. Fuck. Okay. Okay, here we go. Where'd you go? Where'd that you picture go? of Mars with a machine gun is pretty good. That's from a Playdia game. Cartman, thank you for the 100 bits. Comment the super horse. There it is. <laughs> oh, thank you. Comet the super horse. I think it's pattern. Fuck you! Where'd you go? Sailor Moon fans, Japan got beat em ups, fighting games. Americans got mad balls. You know, I don't think Japan got mad balls. I think that's something they were literally deprived of. Score zero, you bottomed out. It's fine. Doesn't matter. Alex, let's go to the surface of Mars and do this. You you just want to get us killed on Mars. Yeah. You want to be the first streamer on Mars. I want to get run over by the Mars rover. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now you're talking like me. Well, guess what? I think this mad ball is just going to have to suffer. I don't think it's possible. I think this is a broken game for assholes. Oh, wait, wait. Wait. It moved. It was Fuck right. You. It was right there. It was right there. You know, if I wait here, it'll probably come back. Yeah. I'm gonna wait. So let's wait. Use mind games. All right, just chilling here. Up, up. Yeah, the Italian exclusive uh, DS Sailor Moon game, made many, many years after any other Sailor Moon games were made. I guess that's not true. It disappeared again. Okay, okay. I think we got this. Okay, we're perfectly centered. We just gotta wait for it to come over here. 
It was there for a second. It's going to happen again. I've got my face pressed up against the screen. I'm really... I want to see this happen. Fine. I'm not mad. Okay, I can hold down the attack. I didn't know that. <laughs> that Come it's still, on! It's still not getting it. Sass? Why? <laughs> Bouncers win. Bouncers win. <laughs> I'm so mad. I'm so mad. I am mad. I have to I have to go. I have to go or I'm going to scream. <laughs> we gotta go. We gotta leave. That one transformational item. Continue your search Shit. for the remaining four. This game is Joker fine, Alex. Okay, I had to I had to leave. I got mad. I got mad online! Look at I this was... rotating Sailor Moon to calm you. I'm feeling calmer. You didn't. I found Sass a single solitary moon. magical <laughs> item. Are you up for a challenge? <laughs> Enjoy solving these 3D cube mysteries to see which sailor image you get to see next. Solve these 120 FPS cubes. We're back to the cube. Oh, this is a little bit easier than the yeah, other cube-based puzzles. <laughs> I see you outsmarted me this time. You should try a harder one. <laughs> okay, let's try a harder one. Ooh, this does look hard. Okay. Oh, oh no. We got this. We're intelligent. Are we? I mean... Yeah, you like the voice they got for Queen Barrel? <laughs> Just some lady <laughs> who worked who worked at this place. Hey, 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 I'm Queen Barrel. You'll never defeat me, Sailor Scouts. Sailor Senshi. Like, oh, I see, I see, I see. Yeah, the top pieces. There we go. Yeah. So that was hard. Powers. Use them wisely. Uh, let's try the really hard one this time. That one's huge. All right, we got our girl here. All right, let's do this. Hey, girl, how you doing? Uh, I'm a little discombobulated, but, you know, hoping you can put me back together. She's a little fucked up. Let's see. Yeah. Uh, She's doing the salt sprinkling meme. <laughs> oh, she is! There we go. I do enjoy the brief uh, peek from Sailor Moon when you change the pieces. Uh-huh. I came. Sailor Moon is back. Come pet the cat. I wish. Bring back Sailor Moon. It's been long enough. We need her now more than ever. Thank Let's you. get more live action Sailor Moon. Thank you. I agree with that. Now to fit all of these stupid things. Mm-hmm. Okay. This? Sounds like you're bad at dialing a phone. It does have that sound. True. We need more 90s 3D Sailor Moon. Good job. Moon. You found Sailor Mercury's transformational pen. I got another transformational pen! Yay! Folks! We found Not two bad. items. You're almost halfway there. The you're almost halfway there. Depending on you. Find the remaining three pens. Well, well, well. Everybody, that... Let's see what we got here. Oh, is this just the intro? 
in a not too far away. Oh, okay, hold on. Evil Queen Barrel lavishes over her newly stolen possessions. For now, she has the transformational pens and the moon wand belonging to Sailor Moon and her squad of teenage fighters, known as the Sailor Scouts. The ones protectors of the universe are now unable to transform into their superhero counterparts and ward off the evil powers of the Negaverse. What is the world to do? What is the world to do? Queen Barrow has secretly hidden these moon transformational items in different dimensional rooms. And it is your duty as a Sailor Scout in training to help the Sailor Scouts throttle off the evil plans of Queen Barrow to drain the universe of its life force. Yeah, this is like double echo. Not bad. You're almost halfway there. The Sailor Scouts are depending on you. Find the remaining three pens. All right, I think that's enough of the 3D Adventures of Sailor Moon for today. Folks, what do you think? Did you that like was that, amazing. Danny? I love that. I'm a Sailor Moon fan now. I want to join her on all of her 3D adventures. I want to get dressed up in the worst outfits known to man. Possibly the best multimedia game ever made. That was that was fantastic. Thank you, Alex. You're welcome. All right. Let me just... Uh... I'm now a Mooney. Is that what they call them? That's different. No, they don't <laughs> that's call a, them that. That's, that's something different. Next up is Disney's Hades Challenge. Give me a second. I just got to hmm. move this bad boy up. Hades is in the uh, Hercules. Yep, yep. Okay. One second. We got to stream that arcade Sailor Moon game. That is a, a jank ass beat em up. Size this bad boy. <laughs> like three people in a row were like, oh no, James Woods. <laughs> yeah, sorry folks. Did he really put his voice in the in the, the CD ROM adaptation of Hercules? Yeah. <laughs> I'm pretty sure he's in it. Couldn't get the Sailor Moon voices, but she could I'm get James sure Woods. I'm pretty sure he's in it. I'm not sure, but I, I'm pretty <laughs> sure he's in it though. Alright, this is Disney's Hades Challenge, a point and click adventure game featuring your favorite stars of Disney's Hercules. Big pizza. Alex, I'm sorry to say I only watched half of Disney's Hercules and I didn't like it. That's fine. I liked it a lot when I saw it, but I I have bad taste, so... That's fine. You can like what you like. I just like the art style a lot in this game. I mean, in this, this cartoon. This animated feature. He's pissed already. Yeah, that's fair enough. He read my posts. Well, hello, Hermes. What's the hurry? You're racing around like your wings are on fire. <laughs> well, Zeus, my sources tell me Hades is well, stirring Zeus. up trouble. Well, With Zeus. With Hercules off battling the giants, we're a little short-handed <laughs> in the hero department. Thank you, Tepid Snake, for the 500 bits for dealing with Windows. Again, so once again, thanks to Bobinator for doing a lot of this thunder, and helping set up the setup. Yeah, home. thank you so much. Mm -hmm. Thank you for the bits. The Hades Challenge. Alright, what the fuck is this? You like it? Hold on, let it load! Turn it, turn it up a little for us. Can't be any harder than the general challenge, it's true. Alex, I should have you do the general challenge. Do you like that Scar is dead? I think Phil. Why is Scar dead? I mean, I saw the Lion King, but... Phil! Are you for fake Danny to be out? Sorry, vacation's over. I need a new hero. Have you any new candidate? Of course I do. I got someone who looks like hero material right here. Hey, mm, fine choice. Uh, hey, I'm Danny DeVito. I'm Danny DeVito, so what I sound like. First, I need you to give me some basic information. Okay, basic info. You got I'm a heroine or hero. I'm a hero, and my name... I forgot, this is a thing where I can't type too much into it. It's it? the Kingdom Hearts voice actor. It's that fake Danny DeVito. G. Caught you with it. Caught you with it. Thank you for the other bits. Thank you. Whoa, not so fast, kid. 
Always sure, sunny Mr. and hot uh, in the Mr. 80s. Mr. Blowhard, Mr. High and Mighty. Sure, he's desperate enough to enlist just about anyone. But the job's a lot tougher than it looks. My basement is full of hero wannabes who thought they had the stuff. You like oh, fake sure. James Woods? Gillies squeak through. But it's better than the real one. Sight that True. Won't be repeated. No more heroes. Got it. That's my favorite game for the week. Phew. What a hothead. Hades never makes it easy for new recruits. Anyway, time to get started. It is him. He just He's sounds like fake James Woods. No way. The most decorated hero of That's the real time. James Woods for this real? Is his I don't know. Trophies. I'm I don't know who to trust anymore. All right, we got to fill up things with our items. And this lonely decrepit stack of bricks is your hall of flaky plaster. But you're just getting started and you know the hero business, kid. It's full of surprises. Before going off on your first quest, I need you to be prepared. First off, you're gonna need some tools of the trade. You can store things you pick up along your way in this hero belt. To see what items you're carrying. Sounds like he'd be a voice in the, the Sopranos the pinball buckle. game. He does! Click on item if you want to use it or give it to someone. Your hero powers will be stored on your belt buckle. You don't have any yet, but you'll so yeah, some it's, soon. It's, it's a point and click adventure business. game for kids. Those but, uh, it right has a nice base to the side from Sky Dockin. And, or take and a look it has at a good quest visual, scroll again. So I wanted to show it off. This does look very nice. Mm -hmm. Don't get the creeps, kid. This is the other eye of the fates. It'll allow me to keep an eye on you since I have to stay here and train new recruits. You'll be hearing from me through this eye. He had Rip Torn and James Woods money, hey, but not Danny DeVito news, money. Bad is Rip Torn in this? Threat. Shit, it really? Pain and panic, and they've got an eternal contract with Hades to make life miserable for young recruits like you. Watch out, they can change shape. He's Ready the voice of Zeus. Quest? All right then, here's the scoop, troop. There's Some Dusk. Some Daedalus needs your help. Oh boy, does he. There's an awful beast called a Minotaur, and it's yeah, Minotaur. the people of Crete. Good luck with this one, kid. Let's take on that Minotaur. You're off to Crete. Make it there, you'll make it anywhere. Oh, another thing, that boat out there, the Argo, it's yours to get around on. Get our own boat. Let's go. Let's fucking go. Sharpen up now, matey. You be on the Argo now. It be a hero ship. It used to belong to the hero Jason and his crew, the Argonauts. Oh, I know oh, them. Now Jason and the Argonauts, shout out. You. Navigate Hi, by ass. clicking <laughs> on the island you wants to go to. I want to go to Crete. The map shall always show the location of the Argo in relation to the other islands in the region. Great. Let's go to Crete. It might be dangerous. It's true, they had DeVito's character do a lot of talking. They probably didn't want to spring for the actual Danny. Hey! Hey, you next like time, Next time you need Danny DeVito voice acting in a game, consider another Danny. Mm -hmm. I can do a Danny DeVito voice. I can see the SpongeBob look in this game. Welcome, Burger King. <laughs> hey, welcome. That's that statue. There we go. <laughs> it's really big. I'm just gonna start clicking on things as you do in these games. Can we like uh, sail under that giant statue and like? You just uh, want to look at the nuts. Me I want to see if they modeled the nuts. I do too. I do too. I'm sorry. I gotta say, this seems like it has a much, much, much higher budget than the Sailor Moon game did. Oh, just a little bit. <laughs> oh no! Not again! Some guy named Daedalus says he's going to try and trap the Minotaur inside a big labyrinth? Yeah, like that'll work. Okay, looks like they're gonna try to put the Minotaur in a labyrinth. That's crazy, it'll never work. I am Hermes, the messenger god. I gotta look up the whole Heracles Hercules thing. That's you a do. that's a thing that I'm just not that I missed out on. Hey, D's nuts. <laughs> Oh, here. <laughs> hey, Taizo. So, you're here to see Daedalus. Well, I won't let you see him unless you bring me a gift worthy of a king. 
And I am in need of a new centerpiece. Heracles is Greek. Hercules is Roman. Okay, that's that's pretty simple. Okay, so Who's, this guy won't. This let guy us. is uh, the sloth eat guy. Drink, you know. Bacchus. There you go. I always wear a wreath of grape leaves on my head. Okay, so we got to find a gift for this guy before we can go see the Minotaur. I, that that sounds good. So let's get out of here. Heracles is Data East. That's another good way to remember it. Oh, look at this guy. He's got stuff to sell us. He's probably normal. He looks normal. Yeah, you know, sloth eat guy drink. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sometimes the words don't come out in order. King Minish doesn't speak to anyone who doesn't have a gift. And all gifts are free today. Here, take this statue to him. I assure you, he'll love it. Okay, let's do that. I think he'd like this. Guy. No, 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 no. I should warn you, the king is not going to like that one. Hey, kid, the Minotaur just went into a restaurant and had lunch. He ate all the customers. He's calling a town meeting for dessert. You better hurry or this place is going to wind up a ghost town. So I... this guy doesn't want me to take this item, but I'm taking it. Screw him. Alex, the whole town is being eaten in the background while you fuck around. Some guy named Daedalus says he's going to try and trap the Minotaur inside a big labyrinth? Yeah, like that'll work. Can I talk to this lady now? She seems to be having a lot going on. No? Okay. You heard the word from Daedalus? He's going to have an encounter on the 3DO. <laughs> hey, do you like this? Hey. Have you brought me my new centipede? Yeah, I did. Have you brought me my new centipede? Yeah, yeah. Here you go. Put it on the table so I can have a better look at it. Now that is a fabulous Yeah, game. if you give him the piece that's oh, recommended the by the you guy, go you in and uh, fail. Now? I see. Because he is secretly pain in disguise. Seems the only thing I can count on you two for is target practice. I told you to get rid of the bull statue. I thought you got rid of it. Oh, let's get out of here. Is that Bobcat Goldthwait? Yeah. <laughs> this disc is star studded. Minidel? What a monster! He's leaving dead bodies and cow patties everywhere. I'm going to trap him if it is the last thing I do. Tell Daedalus if that Minotaur finds him first, it will be the last thing he'll ever do. All right, this is pretty self-explanatory. Looks like I, I need to get this guy supplies. He is listed materials. here. I've made a list. Thank Go you. and get him for me. I need stone, wood, straw, and bricks. This is abnormally competent. You That's why that I'm kid? playing. It's a good I'll game. Find the stuff he needs and bring it back to him. We're on a deadline here. Animation's good too. Animation's good. Writing's fine. It's and it's, turn from it's a really good eye. point and click adventure game for kids. And it's just yeah. Imagine if Sailor Moon had this money. Atlantis to the harbor in Crete. Okay. Let's from build that Troy. labyrinth. Let's and go, let's the go to bricks Greece. that have lasted for centuries. And uh, I need a fresh straw from the kingdom of Salvatore. Okay, we can do that. Anything else I can click on in here? I can click on this. What's this do? Oh, okay. Moves a lot. Oh. Cool. Probably useful for later. Hey, where'd my guy go? He took I, off. He's like, fuck it, I got my bowl, I'm good. Well, now time to get some... Oh my god, look at them. Do you like them? Everyone's... They I look, like him. They this look pissed at you. I'm like this. That's Alex, alright. I think you should check out that new boat docked over in the hub. Okay. Let's check out that boat. Hey, nice boat. No, what about that lady and the, 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 the... I want to know about her. No, the boat. Okay, the fucking Look boat. Look where the boat is pointing. <laughs> go right up his ass. Do you think... I think at this point this was fucking intentional, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, the framing is just too too perfect. 
Oh, this puzzle. Okay. The wood that Daedalus is looking for is inside that boat. You're gonna have to figure out how to unlock that door, though. Okay. Get on the boat to unlock the door. Is this a new Merlin's Apprentice situation? No, 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 no. No, it is not. See? Easy peasy. There you go. I am not the raven. Great job, kid. You did it. Caw. Caw. God. Caw. All right, we got the wood. Yeah, we did. The <laughs> PS1 game, action game, starring Hercules. <laughs> that Minotaur is showing no mercy, pal. You better get back there on a double. Okay, okay. So, I'm gonna go to the island and try to get some stone. So, are you a hero yet? Just the eye. Pull her to starboard and bring her along. Oh, you're supposed to be Hercules in this. No, you're not. Not? You're no? A, uh, you're a secondary hero that's being trained. Oh, Heracles. <laughs> you're just some guy in this who's a hero. Danny. Just some guy, okay. <laughs> you're not like her. I really like the colors here. It's you, Hugh, Hugh De Player. Oh, that's it. That was that Minotaur's plan to eat the entire population of Athens next. I guess he loves Greek food. Come on, you gotta hurry! Okay, I'll get out. I got the stone. I'm going. Danny, this game is sick. It's pretty great. Isn't it? Isn't this just like a, a real surprise? It's a visual so feast. Are you a hero yet? And I'm eating good. Alright, I think it was Troy. 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 For ten years now, yonder Greek soldiers have been fighting that Trojan War. Talk about job security. He actually plays Lord British in this one. I see. So it's an Ultima tie in. Oof, looks like there's too much going on over here. This is before the events of Tabula Rasa. I like the skeleton down here. Oh, shit. Nice job, kid, but no time to hang out. That Minotaur's got the people of Crete dropping like flies. We gotta get back. Okay. I see you, Tepid Snake. Thanks for watching the Hades Challenge. <laughs> yeah, thank you. See you later. Oh, we're surprised. in the we're in the evening now. Mm -hmm. The adventure is progressing. This place be ruled by the evil tyrant King Polydectes. King Polydactyl? Like the cats with the cool toys? <laughs> I mean toes? <laughs> Sorry. You know that Minotaur really loves people. Especially with salt and pepper. Better get going. Okay, I'm in now. He's eating them. He's eating the people. How do I get? How do I go home? Oh, there's my ship. So where be we headed now? Oh, it's purple now. Ah. This guy. Well, I guess we're going to Medusa Isle. Here, I can fast forward. Glad I am you're still alive. I hate sailing alone. Thank you. Aww. It's nice to have a sailing buddy. Okay, let's go back to that guy. Oh, there's a Minotaur. Oh shit, the Minotaur is here. He looks cool. You can't click on him. Yeah, he's just staring at you. Uh. Sailor Hercules, Sailor Minotaur, Sailor DeVito. Magnificent, we are 
marketing ze. Magnificent, we are getting there. Fabulous, we are almost ready. Oh man, we go. Now we can finish the maze. Let's banish that fucker. Get out of here, Minotaur. Here is the labyrinth I've told you about. So uh, I'm putting together the last of the materials like you brought me. As oh boy. Daedalus! The Minotaur's loose in the labyrinth! Well, have fun. No, 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 no. <laughs> we are not finished yet. We've lashed no, 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 no. together, but they're not arranged yet. Hero, you must help us trap the Minotaur, or all will be lost. Yeah, I hope everyone's left ears are enjoying this. The walls so that they are strong enough to stop the Minotaur. Click on a square to rotate the wall. Some walls are already locked in place. All right, Alex, get rotating. Oh. If you need help, refer to the workman's equations. Uh-oh, here he comes. He's stomping on in. Come on in. Cool maze for a dipshit. Fuck. Uh, I fucked that up real quick. Yeah. Well, there he goes. I believe you and the Minotaur have not seen the last of one another. <laughs> <laughs> well. Do you need to go collect more stuff now? Oh, thank God. Okay. Ooh, yeah, you got him trapped. I did, hold on. The Minotaur has broken through a critical wall. Workers, come on the beast. Workers, call off the beef? Is that what he said? I guess. I gotta do it again. He needs to get in the center here. Oh, corner the beast, I see. Fuck. Sorry, workers. Okay. This is a Merlin puzzle. This is now a Merlin puzzle, yes. Looks like he is tiring. He's getting tired of eating all of us. Soon his jaws won't be able to eat more human meat. And then we'll be free. <laughs> We're good! I'm sure you got this. I'm glad you're playing this and not me. Yeah, when do we send in the Belmont? The Minotaur has broken through I'm actually not sure you're what you're supposed to do in this puzzle. Just keep him occupied for a while. But... But if he breaks a single wall, they're like, oops, sorry. Yeah. Hold on. I, I think I got this. Oh, fuck you. Oh. I've cornered him. You are bastards who hate Alex. Trap him in the stone walls, maybe? I'm trying to do that. That's what okay. I've been trying to do. Come this way. No, you fucker! You dumbass! You shitball! <laughs> you shitball. Alright, I'm giving it one more chance and then we're switching games because I think this Minotaur is a Minodont. <laughs> it's a Failotar. I believe. For once, I'm glad that RetroArch has that speed up button. Come on, this way! This way! In the center! You ball sack from Ball Town! <laughs> Perfect on my fire. There he goes. More like an all you can creep buffet. Game options. 
quit. <laughs> no. No. Wow. That was you rage quitted Haley Eighties Challenge. The, listen, I because I didn't want to be here. For I like, I understand. You, actually, you, I didn't want Merlin have, to happen again. Okay? I would have done the same thing. All right. Well, that was Disney's Hades Challenge. A good All right. game. If but anyone a wants, one. if anyone wants to attempt to corral the Minotaur into his maze, uh, Hades Challenge is the way to do it. Next. Good. Next up is a really interesting multimedia game. This is Star Trek Captain's Chair. Let me just load this up. Oh, the Captain's Chair. I've always wanted to sit there. Have you? Yeah. Have you really? Yeah. I want to be on the Enterprise Next Generation version. That's the only show I've seen much of. Those TNG guys, they seem like they have a good time. They got the robot and uh, the lady. The robot and the lady. Yeah, that's the prototype name of the show. The robot and the lady. The, ro- the guy with a beard who always sits in chairs weird. Riker? Yeah. <laughs> How did I know that was Riker? Do all the actors in TNG get along the best? That's that's good to hear, actually. They seem like okay people. All right. Danny, you're thinking of The Wizard of Oz. <laughs> was saved under my captain's chair. There we go. Can we I get hope Riker, you like multimedia. Can we get Riker to sit weirdly Welcome in the captain's chair? Welcome to the chair? captain's chair. A special presentation of the Starfleet Virtual Fleet Museum. Ooh. Here you can explore the bridges of five of Starfleet's most distinguished vessels and learn about their history, operations, and those who served aboard them. I want to see the Defiant because that's DS9. So this is like kind of an in-world museum piece. It is. The USS Defiant NX-74205 has earned its reputation as a peacemaker, operating from its home base of Deep Space Nine under the command of Captain Benjamin Lafayette Sisko. Uzi, I thought she was about to say Madison County, too. (laughs) Okay, let's fucking go. So you can tilt... Yeah. You can pan. Oh. And these are real bridges. You can just straight up walk around. Let's go this way. It was a bridge in DS9? I thought it was just like a... a oh, this a is mall. one of the ships in DS9. Oh, all right. Let's go here. What's this thing? Yeah, you can also do this, too. Whoa! Tilt. Click on a lot of things too. I like the designs they have for their little touchscreen computers. Me too. It's, I think they look neat. It has a lot of character. Let's get out of here. And this is just straight multimedia. You are just clicking. Accessing and master situation. Your dad had this diagram. cool. And here's the diagram of the ship. This seems like ultimate dad software. This is such dad software. And each tells you like each little thing it does. There's a lot of things in here though, so we're gonna do a lot of exploring. Do. Load Runner 2. Thank Load you for Runner the sub. Two, thank you. If Theseus had to replace all his PC parts because Alex spilled a monster energy on them while playing Lady hey. Gaga Hot Dog, is it still Theseus's gaming PC? Now or is it the Minotaur's? Object file. Do you like you cannot laser? have it, but thank you. Do you like this? That's a freaking assault rifle f- phaser. Yeah. <laughs> they make those? This is, this is, yeah, this is a phaser only legal to buy in America. This is a, this is a phaser 15. <laughs> Sorry about you can... that. Whee! Yeah, there we go. <laughs> All right, let's look at them. Let's look. Let's, let's get a little this way. What else we got to click on? What's this? Set oh, this is so snack. good. Are you ready? Yeah. Oh, oh! Delicious. Let's replicate some horrible food. Now displaying database object file. What is this? Yo, how do you even eat that? It's, what is it's this? pizza that pokes your eye out. What is this? What the fuck is this that? This is the worst food I've ever seen. <laughs> Folks. Did Neelix make this? <coughs> <laughs> Freaking Cleon pizza. Unfortunately, that's the only food you can make. Is that a horrible thing? What, this really? Just <laughs> hang on. They put a food replicator in here, and that's the only food you can replicate? This is There's hell. There's so much in this game. This I is, get it. That's hell to me. God, finally a future where there's unlimited free food, and it's that. I'd rather just die. That's not nice. You well? Oh, look! It's our little thingy-madoohickey. It's a commemorative plate. 
Wow. That's silly. The little DS9 plaque. Okay, let's go to the captain's chair. I think this is the captain's chair. Let's have a seat. Mm, I'm feeling captainy. Make it so. No, wait, that's that's next generation. What do they oh, say in DS? Message. What does the captain say in DS9? Get her done. <laughs> you know, once I was in a parade in Hollywood Parade, and the children were yelling and screaming as we were waving, you know, like that. And I could hear the people saying, well, who is he? You know, because I'm waving and smiling, you see. And they said, oh, I know. That's the one. You look so different without that thing on your face. You're black. <laughs> You're, and you look so different. But I'm not LeVar. I'm Avery Brooks. And uh, I play the role of Captain Benjamin Sisko. Part of the reason that, that I decided to do this role was the pilot. And I thought it was an extraordinary uh, script where, you know, you were looking at a man who uh, was trying to find peace, you know, after suffering tragic loss, who at the same time had to defend human. Did he get dressed in the Sailor Moon Maker? Yeah, I was going to say, I, I kind of love do this. Is to give children some positive look at the world, indeed the universe. Star Trek helps to do that. And he asked a little messages, too. Man, he agreed to it because he liked the script. That's it cool. was a good script. Have you need to watch DS9? I, mean, I should, I should. It's, it's really, le it's legit really good. It's, let's go, what's over here? Yeah! Oh, here we go. Are you ready for some FMV, Danny? Oh, I'm ready for FMV traversal. You better believe it. <laughs> Jurassic Park Sega CD style. Let's go. Hello, game. Game. Thank you, Seraphis came for the 100 bit. Everyone needs to watch the documentary The Captains, where William Shatner interviews Avery Brooks, and Brooks answers all of his questions in the form of song while playing the piano. Wow. Okay. What a talent. All right. Let's go in here. Open up. There we go. Yes, I think yes. all these ships should have an airlock you can shoot yourself out of. You think so? Yeah. Okay. Is there a place where you can get roasted by Q? I hope so. All right. Uh, there are all the decks we can go to. Ooh, waste management. Let's go to deck eight. Ooh, let's go to the dump. Deck six. Should I go there? Do I? There's all these little things to press. I don't. Am I at the right deck? Like I said, it's good, but it like a lot of multimedia games of the era, it has a lot of strange ways of moving and yeah. navigating and it can get mm. pretty confusing. Are you able to go to Quarks in this? No. Damn. No. Unfortunately you're just on the Defiant, which isn't uh yeah, unfortunately it's not part of the ship. Yeah, this just takes you back to the ship. But yeah, this is uh the USS Defiant Oh wait, is that the first aid kit? Yeah, look at the first aid kit. Oh shit, what's this? Yeah, top up your health. Okay, we got this. Now displaying database object file. I wish the doctor had one of these and they could just shoot it at my back. Yeah. What, what is this? It should be standard I'll equipment by now. Database object file. I want to eat this. I'm sorry. Not the battery. I like the big battery in the back. This looks like an 80s computer toy for kids. It does. It's so good, right? Why do you want to eat this? Alex wants to eat everything. I'm just in a food mood. Let's go over here. So one fun thing you can do is you can uh, you can you can shoot some missiles and stuff. So let's do that. Ooh, look at the warp drive. We declaring war out here. Here we go. Ooh! Fuck off. Nice. <laughs> I want to replace all ship traversal sounds in Star Trek with Alex saying whoosh, whoosh. Yeah, most of these just make beeps, but sometimes... I get wanting to eat mahjong tiles, but not a tricorder. I saw edible mahjong tiles on my feed yesterday. Me too! I saw it on the Discord. Yeah. We're gonna shoot something. What are we shooting at? I don't know. Pulse phasers. Do you like that? Ooh, kill Rossi down. So much for that crossover. And, uh... 
What about edible Tetris blocks? I think there have been Tetris games. There have. <clears throat> there definitely have. Beepity boop 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 beepity boop. It's a lot of beeping and booping in this game. You're mostly going to hear some beeps and some boops. Engineering. Ooh, engineering. Ooh, an MA core reaction shutdown. Let's fucking go. Cool. Shit did it. fucked up. You've I doomed everyone. Mm -hmm. Puyos taste like fruit gushers. You know? I bet they do. Do you like this? <laughs> Load Runner 2, thank you for the thank 100 you. bits. It's okay. I like oh, that Oh, it's joke. okay. This does look like I'm checking Sea Prices, Sea Journey. You're right. This looks delicious. I'm so Stop good. eating everything! I don't know! I just... We gotta feed you before streams. I did eat! And then I got hungry again. I need to have a Sunday. That's the issue. Alex, can we go to the TNG captain's... Yeah, let's go there. I wanna, I wanna be that. I want to be Captain Picard. See around bad this idea. Is the USS Enterprise. NCC We're gonna keep sailing the stars. The is this the right one? To bear that name. Looks like it. The 1701D carved out its place in history under the leadership of Captain Jean-Luc Picard. Okay. Yeah, they got those nice leather chairs. I bet those are heated chairs. There's a little plaque it has. I know the ships have their little plaque. What food is here? Now displaying database object files. What? What's this fucking charcuterie board bullshit? Okay, so we've got two leaves. Yeah. Three whatever. A bunch of... You know what these are? Those are those rice crackers with the nori around them. How do the you eat this? Crackers. Do you just put your hands in and eat handfuls this of this crap? This is a charcuterie board for... For psychos. <laughs> this is like... This is... Look at the greens. Look at all of this. Disgusting. Before you quit, we have to see what food is in all the different replicators. You know what? You're right. You're right. I think I think that's good. But be I want to. But I want to explore the TNG ship a little more. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. Picard eats that every day. Why does he get? Why does he get Earl Grey tea, which is a normal thing, but to eat you have to be like some kind of weird space alien? Hey, I October. Yeah, you just missed out on Hades challenge, but. Here we are aboard the uh, the USS Enterprise, the next generation, as it's called. You need to open your mind to cuisines from other cultures. That's true. That is true. Maybe in the future this is normal. You just eat handfuls of leaves. Here's a message. Welcome to the bridge of the USS Enterprise 1701D. I'm Michael Dorn. Whoa, he looks you different. You probably already know me as Commander Worf, the only Klingon officer in Starfleet. Klingons are among the most interesting characters on Star Trek. Now, a turning point in Worf's character development came when Dan Curry and I worked out a complete style of Klingon martial arts. Now, the focus those moves provided was he? I am Weasel Worf from a loud, animalistic character into a highly trained. Oh my God, you're right. Perfect control. That's blowing my mind. To work with the next generation cast, with these actors, I wouldn't trade that for anything in the world. I'm proud of the work we did on the next generation and that we continually do on Deep Space Nine. Yeah, okay. Well, holy shit. I had no clue. Welcome to the bridge of the... Okay, well, this is sick. All right. He fucking hated being Worf. <laughs> I didn't know that. I don't blame him. Uh... Oh, it's Compartments, just... little little cubby holes. I can't click on any of them too, which is good. Well, yeah, it's for the ship's staff. Oh, okay, it's where they put their shoes. Yeah, when they go bowling. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, having to do that forehead makeup every time while everyone else just gets to be a normal human. That would fucking suck. Yeah. Oh, and thank you for the sub. Do you think Picard had to specify T Earl Grey because he tried to just order Earl Grey once and it tried to make a person? Yes, 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 he did. <laughs> that would have been awkward. How do you get rid of that guy? 
All right, this is this is where we eat Thomas's food, right? Yeah, it's about time. It's uh, yeah, it's 12 p.m. here in the the space system. Thomas is gonna make us a space biscuit. Wee. So this is the Enterprise. What do you think? I like it. I like being there. It's just nice to be a part of the crew. Tactical. It's tactical. You... Let me go on the turbo lift, you dicks! Fine. I'll go this way. Permission denied. Nope. They're like, no, you don't get any turbo lifts. Michael Dorn was the voice of Minotaur and Hercules? Well, fuck, he's just everywhere today. Well, I'll be. I didn't know the Enterprise had a skylight. That's cool. And he voiced Luna in Sailor Moon. Wow, he did everything. Okay. Well, shoot. All right, you want to see the food on the other ship? Yeah. Okay, let's go to the first Enterprise. Yeah. Welcome to USS Enterprise. Oh, NCC man. Which achieved its legendary fame under the command this computer of voice. James Tiberius Kirk. I am a computer voice designed to put you on edge at all times. Calm down, please. Oh my god, these old sound effects. I would die within <laughs> five minutes being on this bridge. I don't know if this one has a replicator. Let's, let's look. Does the original Enterprise not have a replicator? Maybe they wouldn't. San Francisco! That's hyperpop they're playing, yeah. I do kind of like these sound effects individually. It's just having to listen to it as a career would be hell to me. Yeah. See you around, play SM64. See ya. It's louder! Oh, okay. Well, if there are replicators here, I don't know where they are, unfortunately. But... They did have a food thing because Smebel remembers one spitting out Kirk's chicken sandwich with tribbles on it. <laughs> Let's order me up some tribbles. Okay, maybe it's this way. Let me in the turbo lift! Let me- I'm baby! They never want to let you on the turbo lift. Well, fine. You don't want to let me in? I don't want it. I don't want your stupid replicator. Let's go to the Voyager. The USS Voyager NCC 7465. Surely the Voyager has good food. The pinnacle of Starfleet's engineering prowess when it was launched in 2371 under the command of Captain Catherine Janeway. Mission Ops. Don't give a shit. I want my food. What does Janeway eat? Mission Ops. Security tactical. Let's get some tactical food. She eats mm -hmm. coffee, yeah. I was gonna say, yeah. Engineering. Voyager has good cheese. Let's look for this cheese. Okay, cheese, huh? We may need to find a mouse first. <laughs> Try looking for a little mouse hole. Okay. Science. What? Cool. Is that food? Yeah, eat it. Okay. Where's the food? Where's the food? I'm hungry. <laughs> Engineering. Crunchitize me, Captain. Okay, surely there's gotta be a replicator in here. That's it, right? Yeah, Here yeah. Here we go! Uh, now displaying database object file. Well, it looks a little bit more like school cafeteria food, but also, it looks like shit. Would you eat this? Out of all the foods, I guess. This looks the most appetizing, but... Yeah, is that just a bunch of marshmallows? <laughs> Presented here is the current state-of-the-art in Starship design, the USS Enterprise NCC-1701E, under the command of Captain Jean-Luc Picard. Okay, so it's another Picard ship. Well, I see the replicator. 
Yeah, yeah, let's do it. Science. No, 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 no. Fuck you. Replicate me, Captain. We need food. Give me some of that space girl dinner. Or hangy. There it is. I think. Well, there's a lot of it. What is it? Well, let me click on it this time. It's just like you don't want to see this. It's disgusting. <laughs> This is gonna make you lose your appetite. You don't need to. You don't need to see what this is. Well, that. <laughs> and with that, I think we are done with uh, Star Trek: The Captain's Chair. It's not too much to look at more in here. But what, Danny? What do you think? Well, we replicated a lot of food. Mm -hmm. We got to see a first-person view of some of uh, people's favorite spaceship interiors, I suppose. Let's see if I can't get one more message from someone. That would be here. pretty exciting if you were a huge fan. Yeah, if you're a nerd, this is for you. I'm a nerd. And it is revealing how much empty space is in there just for the sake of filming, I suppose. Cool. Any more messages? Anybody want to talk to me? <laughs> Hello. But it's also kind of mysterious, right? There's so much shit to click on that doesn't do anything in this game. Mm -hmm. I like the idea of Jean-Luc sitting there being like, anyone want to talk to me? On space Twitter being like, who feels like being nice to Jean-Luc Picard? <laughs> I'm gonna go, I saw, I'm gonna go away, leave nice replies. <laughs> Nice! Yeah? Alright, I better go before I blow up the ship. I think I set the, the coordinates to uh, kill. Apparently the cheese thing is an actual thing. <laughs> Neelix made some cheese, and the bacteria infected the ship. Nice! It's also a guided tour, but I don't Let's do the guided tour. Okay. I'm Commander William Riker, first Ooh. officer of this vessel, the USS Enterprise. Spin around for me. I'm Commander Sorry, William Riker, spinning. first officer of this vessel, the USS Enterprise E, the sixth <laughs> and newest starship to bear the name. You stop the spinning. The Enterprise E is a sovereign class starship, and was launched from the San Francisco orbital yards in 2372. Like her predecessor, the Enterprise D, her commander is my friend and superior officer, Captain Jean-Luc Picard. The Enterprise E saw Whee! action oh, that's too fast. by traveling back in time to stop the Borg attack on Earth's past. The Enterprise E represents the current state of the art in starship design. She is, to put it simply, the best Federation starship ever built. She's a beaut. Tell you why. To the left is Ops, to the right, Khan. Both have been upgraded, allowing for more efficient allocation of resources and improved. <laughs> Riker, flight please. Flight. In fact, Khan is so advanced that the Enterprise E can outmaneuver ships less than They're literally average, twirling so towards the future. Even at warp I think I actually have the to stop. And engineering stations I'm becoming a lot. <laughs> okay, the let's not make Alex sick. I actually am becoming... Let's get off of Riker's tour tour. Riker. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't like that tour. Riker, your, your idea of a ship tour is pretty strange, just staying in place and spinning. Yeah, you'll feel better if you sit down for a plate of slop. Just take a big old handful. That was great. Like <laughs> I, en I enjoyed that. I'm not a huge Trek fan, but I could see how someone who was really into it would get a real kick out of this. Yeah, it's good. It's good. I liked all the, the horrible looking replicator food. Me too. Okay. Next up, a little change of pace. Okay. Next up is Rayman Activity Center. What? Really? Yeah. Okay. What? What? You don't you don't think you don't think that a ray man can hang? I wasn't briefed on this. No, you weren't. You weren't briefed on a lot of this. Oh, okay. I know. I You got to run it in DOS mode. Give me a second, folks. Rayman Activity center. Yeah, you remember activity centers? Yeah, I do. There we go. But this is one with Rayman. Mm-hmm. Do you like that? I didn't know the French did activities. 
Yeah, French do things sometimes. We've done the Spider-Man cartoon maker. That was really fun. Oh, we've done that, yeah. That thing's great. I really like your Windows theme. Thank you. Even Rayman got into the edutainment train. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Even Rayman. Do you like Rayman? I actually do. I saw Bill Bull play through Rayman just a couple days ago. That game's impossibly hard, but I still like it. It was one of the first PS1 games I owned. And this is PS1 Rayman? Yeah. For some reason, I thought this would be 3D era Rayman. Yeah. <laughs> his trademark, yeah. Do you like his yeah? I do Hurry like it. Up. On with the adventure. Whoa. Click. Type your name on the streamer behind me. They then talk? Click on the clown, and I'll take you to my friend's fabulous world. Hurry up. Biz click. Biz. Click on the Click. clown, Alex! Click! 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 <laughs> Click! Help. Off we go! Click! Click! Yeah, buddy! That's from the games. Clouds will just randomly appear under you. The level design in, the, in that is kind of fucked. Huh. Okay. Nice. I saw this racket. Oh, Rayman's the one who sent you. Hello. Welcome to this wonderful world. That's Patilla the fairy. the fairy. And I'll be with you wherever you go. You'll discover all sorts of things here. We're going to have so much fun. If you want explanations on your game, click on this sign. Okay. Look at the little images at the bottom of the screen. They're called icons. As soon as you need any help, click on my hat. You can use these three icons to choose the level of difficulty. Level one is the easiest, mm -hmm. level two is a bit more complicated, and level three is the hardest. It's true, they did thicken up Batilla later on. Box, ah. You can come back to the garden whenever you like with this icon. This one takes you to the magic world where you can play with Rayman. When an icon is in black and white, this means you can't use it. Okay. When you click on True, I was expecting, yeah, Rayman 3 era Rayman, which is a totally different vibe. Now, do you? You have so many surprises to discover. The original Rayman style really only existed for that one game. Starting with Rayman 2, he became his own different mm -hmm. thing. And then there was the Rabbids, and then there was Rayman Legends. He got reborn like four or five times. As for me, I only ever played and liked the first game. What's in here? Now we are inside my house. Okay. Isn't it delightful? Take a look around. You live like look this? Look how big it is from the sides. It's up to you to find which games lie behind the objects by clicking on them. Welcome to the home of the voracious fish. Oh the boy! The fish you'll ever meet. The idea is to stop them from eating the plums. Click on the fish to stun them. You've got to be quick, though. <laughs> I beat Rayman 1. Believe it. You did. Clever. It made me a better gamer. You went insane doing that. Ready to punch some fish? Prince Alexander, this is serious. <laughs> <laughs> that was a close one. <laughs> it's literally Jalo. <laughs> it might actually be the same voice actor. Who does that voice, by the way? I assume it's just one guy. One guy doing the gay genie voice. Or yeah, the jester voice. Mm -hmm. I was about to say, let's hear a fetal DD from this guy. Yeah, this guy would totally kick, to totally get it, fiddle DD right. Fiddle DD culture. Troy Picker, okay. Good going! 
He has such range. This is an activity. Do you like this activity, Danny? Oh no, it ate one! Oh no! Alex, I'm feeling a little bit queasy. I think it's because of Riker's spinning tour of You too, huh? Price. That's why I wasn't looking and I had to quit. I was like, what is this thing I'm feeling right now? Oh yeah, I'm a little bit queasy. I'm just gonna let them win, we'll see what happens. Actually, I think it's gonna take forever to let them win. Look at this. Oh yeah. Oh what a shame! You made a mistake. Ha! Yes, yeah, this voice is that like a vaudeville archetype that is just lost on kids nowadays? Did there used to be a couple dozen guys in vaudeville who were like, ooh? Edwin, okay. How do you feel about clown in love? Clowns should I'm have love. love. Everyone deserves love. love. Not I'm this guy. So in love. She's so pretty, so gorgeous, so beautiful. Yippee, yippee, yippee. All right, dude, calm down. <laughs> Don't want to have to roll over this stream. To write the poem, I will tell you which letter you must pull down. To play, you must use your keyboard. Use the arrow keys to position me and the space bar to pull. Pull on all the balloons with the letter P. Pull on the P balloons. Why are you not working? Pull on the P balloons. Well, oh, no. I can't because space is... Oh, no. Is, uh... You forgot this balloon. Oh, I hope she'll love me. You forgot this balloon. Pull on the letter. R. I think it's insert that turns off. Uh... Nope. Not insert. Do you not push the key on the keyboard? No, it doesn't work. Huh. There we go. I have to do scroll lock. to. Bravo! No, when I press space, it speeds it up. It turns into the retro arch thing. So I, I have see. To turn off, uh... Pull on all the balloons with the letter E. Pull Thank on you, all the balloons. Thank you, Ups Nerdity, for the raid. Hey, Abs, what were you up to? I saw you were doing some Mr. Exploration earlier. Hope that went well. You did it! We're doing activities well in the Rayman done. Activity Center. These are activities. Do you like these? Uh. Pull on all the balloons with the letter T. <laughs> there are other activities I prefer. I gotta say. Oh, yeah, MSX kicks Bravo. ass. There's so Bravo. much weird stuff on that. We're trying to help this clown in love. This mini game is called Pull Clown in Love. Why? Why? What do you think his girlfriend looks like? Uh, clown. You did it! Do you think he wants to date the fairy? Maybe. Ugh, I don't like that. I I don't think it would work out. I think that he's too annoying. Kind of want to kick his ass. I'm sorry. P R E T T Y. Pretty. Oh, yes, yes, she's so pretty. You did it! <laughs> You're awesome. I'm sure she'll love me. Is this how clowns Be flirt? Clown. Oh, I'm so in love. Oh, my goodness. With a beauty with beautiful blue eyes. Ooh. Yesterday she told me that she really loved me. That's grand, that's grand, and oh, it makes me so happy! Do you want to play again, or no. change levels? Let's see what other games are here. Junk clowning, ar clowning around. More clowns, Danny! Good. Hello, everybody! Where's the Rayman in this? It's, it's just clowns! The other draws white. Especially for you, the irresistible, the only Mr. Black! 
Oh, it's my portrait. I'm very flattered, Mr. Black. Thank you and bravo! And now, Mr. White, the specialist of all things white who, in just a few seconds, will erase everything! Specialist of all things white. For Mr. White. Uh, <laughs> Look thanks, France. At the model Mr. Black has drawn on the sheet it's Tangram! Reconstruct it with the colored pieces on the right. Use the lines to help. I thought I was going to be able to draw in this. Of the pieces. You know, you forget being an activity center. Box. Oh no! We just have tangrams with clowns. Oh, this music's from the PS1 game. If you hear this music, you're in a really hard level. Uh. Y yeah. Yeah. Uh. Well. Uh. Huh. Is that... Um. Press the Rayman button. Do you really want to quit Rayman? <laughs> yeah. No? It's not the Rayman button. This is psycho. <laughs> this is some psycho shit. You know, I had another. I was thinking of another game, but I kind of want to finish off on this. Yeah, like, let's yeah. do. Let's let's see some more of this. This is pretty demented. Echo is the tune dance. Tune dance. Okay, I like that. Also, I think if Hello, any kids everybody. played Rayman for PS One, they wouldn't want to see it more of that. And the show we're considering how brutally difficult it is. No doubt you all have a bit of stage fright, but don't worry. You've all worked very hard, and I'm sure that Rayman will be delighted with his surprise. Okay, for this last day of rehearsal, we shall go through the choreography for each one of you. Let's not waste any time. It's showtime in only a few hours. Everyone to their places, please. Okay. Look closely at the model at the top. Choose the same tunes and place them in the right order to reproduce the model twice. Oh. Don't forget to click on your. Green Danny, box. you have to reproduce the model twice. You got it. Hold on. Uh. I realize this uh. is a this is a Rayman one asset flip. All this stuff comes from the original Rayman. They just repurposed it. There's very little original art in this. Excellent. This number is ready for tonight. Next. Uh. Wow, great show. Do you like that show? Uh, I could put on a better one. I think we could. Is this bouncers? Yes. This is the Rayman of Death box trick. Perfect! Perfect! That's a bootleg version of Dixie. You just changed a few notes. It is! Do they think they didn't have the rights to Dixie? <laughs> Why would I, I guess you could do Dixie, but you're from France. <laughs> do you want to play again or change levels? That show was a little bit better. The magic eraser, magic letters. True, it has connotations, but why not make a completely different piece of music? It's Rayman. Now this looks like, this looks like Rayman to me. This is the part where you lose 15 lives in a row and have to start over. Two numbers will be displayed to help Rayman climb to the safest place of shelter. Click on the smallest number or the largest number, depending on my instructions. Oh my click god, let's say edutained. Click on the smallest Are number. Are you not edutained? 
Did you say the small number? Three. Well done. Keep it up. Okay. So what do you think about this kind of platforming, Danny? He's going through the motions that he does in the game, but you don't actually control it. Uh, eight would be larger. Well done. There should be a three-second auto-scroller in the middle mm -hmm. of this level for no reason. I just got done watching Bill Bill play this, so this entire game is fresh in my mind. Six. Well done. Keep it up. See you around, I October. Hope you have a good day. These, this is such for little kids, but like, but it's Rayman. Rayman's kind of difficult. Rayman is kind of the most difficult. <laughs> eight. All right. Like, I don't think kids who have to decipher between seven and eight would be able to do well in Rayman. I'm That's sorry. the thing. Yeah, it's relying on kids' uh, love of Rayman, but Rayman does not love them back. Mm -mm. Click on the smallest number. Beat well Rayman at the age of seven? You are a, shit. You okay, are a genius gamer. Well, maybe I'm just the fail gamer as a child. Or the, the, the cool thing about Rayman 1 is you have to 100% clear it. Ten. Well done. Keep it up. You can't beat the final boss unless you get all the stuff. He's going. Hey, I had it and beat it when it was new, too. You also beat Rayman 1 as a child, so so it's okay. I'm fail gamer Alex. It's it's fucking hard, dude. Makes Donkey Kong Country look like a piece of shit. Difficulty wise. One, two, all right. Well also as a kid you have unlimited free time too. So you can just beat your head against the wall true, <laughs> as, true. as much as you want. Oh, 10 small and 15. I know that. You're learning from these games. I am. Thank you, Rayman. Click on the largest number. Now, that sound cue there is actually the level clear theme from the Saturn version of Rayman. The PS1 version sounds different. Oh. oh right. It's a good thing you you're know. around to go, uh -huh. I think I got to the music level in Rayman and went outside. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. good move. Very well done. Rayman is no longer in any danger from the storm. Yay. No longer in any danger. Y yay. That's where you go to be safe from a storm, the top of the mountain. Oh, that's true. Storms don't go up there. No, they just don't. They hate them. They're like, fuck mountains. Do you want to he melted. Or change levels? You melted Rayman. The tune dance. Ha, the storm. Giant domino. Echo is, e echo in the cave. Oh, I bet this is really annoying. Let's do it. I bet you it is. I like the mouse. Uh, here you are in the cave world. Here everything echoes. Can you? When I speak, my booming voice bounces off the walls and comes back again. It's the echo. Here it's the echo. It's the echo. Sound, but I take great pleasure in mixing them all up. <laughs> Underneath each stone, there are sounds. Oh, and boy. Oh, God. You must match the sound with the image. Good luck. Okay. I played Rayman on Saturn, PC, GBC, GBA, DSiWare. Never beaten any of them. That sounds nope. about right. Rayman is the kind of game where you have to basically make Boy it your job noise. to beat it. You need complete dedication to the craft. Yeah, that's that sounds about right. P? Please tell me that wasn't P. Oh, okay. 
It's not P. 250 bits from the Ultimo. The one weakness, matching pairs. Yes. Thank you, Ultimo. Uh-huh. Oh, we got that. We got that. <clears throat> yeah, it would be P if this were a rabbit's game. See, I heard the toilet first, so <laughs> you can see why I thought that. Toast. Toast time. Hey, Tessie. Hey, girl. Uh, here? <laughs> All right. Flush the clock down the toilet. I'll let the cat out. Thank you. Smash the toilet here. Match that toilet. We match the toilet, folks. I got this. I got this. I got this. Yeah, this shit's in the bag. They're going to do this and they're going to reward us with some of that delicious replicator food. Why did... I can't get over the replicator food. <laughs> it all looks terrible. <laughs> all right. Good going. You'll go far. I see. Is this sarcastic? Did we just get sarcastically clapped at? I think so. Let's see another game. We're Good job. Gonna... You know what a toilet sounds like. The, to the tune clap. Magic, magic letter. The magic. The magic, magic eraser. eraser. On your marks. Get set. Go. Oh, God. <laughs> Watch out, jump. Well done. To the right. I know this to level. Right. Watch out. No, to the left. Ah. Yes, left. All right. Quickly now. <laughs> Hurry up. You've only got a few seconds left. Okay. Well done, Rayman. You've beaten your score again. Over to you. To Good job. Rayman through the maze of magic erasers. To move, it's easy. You use the arrow keys on your keyboard. Look. This one to go up. This one to go down. This one to go right. And this <laughs> one to go left. All right. Good luck. Make sure, make sure the keys aren't mapped to game focus. Yeah, I had to fix that just to make sure. Well, this uses backgrounds and level elements from the toughest world in the entire game. The arts, the art levels. Those levels are impossible. Yeah! Hooray! You that. did it! Hooray. Now do it again. Forever. Hooray, man. <laughs> Low and steady. Where yeah, wasn't there like a sexual Rayman Netflix show or something? Yeah, there is. Captain Laserhawk. Ugh. Rayman is all like sexy and does coke or whatever. This is not a game for idiots. It's a game, it's a game for idiot children. <laughs> he ate sushi off of a furry's well ass. Done. You're brilliant, you know that? I just, that's... I'm not against adult Rayman. I just... That's just a little try hard to me. I don't I don't mean to be negative. Does he do coke too? Yeah. The rabbits would do coke, not Rayman. Come oh, yeah. on. Bubsy would do coke. Sorry. You're right. We shouldn't slut shame Rayman. <laughs> no, we shouldn't. Rayman can be as horny as he wants to be. I'm sorry. I'm Anyways, Rayman, you finish the maze before I say anything stupid. There you go. Awesome. 
You're the best. You're the best. Rayman goes hardcore and kills people too. Whoa. I want Rayman. I'm just want... ready to believe everything I hear yeah, about this. Yeah, you can tell show. me anything about Rayman and I'd believe it. Like you're like, "Oh, and then this one, Rayman has a uh, a gun that he bought from Arrow the Acrobat." And I'd be like, "Yeah, that makes <laughs> sense." Arrow the Acrobat arm stealer. Then Rayman finds out that Arrow committed a bunch of crimes with that gun, and now he has to answer for it. Okay, that'd be kind of sick, though. Yeah. Oh, man, I like this. I like your idea best. Hooray! You did it! Congratulations! You won a surprise! Look! It's a snail! Wow! The snail's gonna kick our ass, you idiot! I'm not controlling him. <laughs> Do you want to play again <laughs> or change levels? We got two little mini games left. All Let's right. Play. What on earth happened here? What a mess! Come along now, everyone to their places. We're never gonna be able to spell this correctly. Oh, okay. A show about mascots working blue collar jobs. <laughs> I want to see that. Oidar. Radio. Radio. The thing. The, the, the <laughs> Every time I turn on the radio, I hear Rayman. Radio. Radio. Good. Good. Oh, okay, bye. This just makes me want to play real Rayman now. Sorry, honey. I want to get be... brutalized. I know how to spell train. That's just... Who do you think I am? I like that they gave you the first two letters. Yeah, they're like, no, this, this kid won't be able to spell anything. Train. Yes, you're right. Bravo! So difficult. Oh, piano. This is like edutainment made by people piano. with no education experience, yeah. Congrats. All they had was some assets from Rayman. And uh, they were told to make some money off those assets. Ooh. Uh. Whoa. Um. Alex. No, he needs those. He died. Yay! Rayman was erased from history. Do you want to play again or change levels? Wow. The tune giant Sorry, Rayman. He got Everyone deleted. Are you for giant dominoes? Sure. Rayman has to cross the ink sea on the dominoes. But there are still some dominoes missing because the game isn't finished. And so Rayman can't. The game isn't cross. finished, huh? Right. Let's what is this, a modern game? <laughs> if I finish the game of dominoes. Rayman will be able to get across. Of course! How simple! Why didn't I think of that before? To I'm so stupid! Game, you Thank you for being smart for me, Rayman. Dominoes in the dotted lines. Oh. This is an early Click access on the game. Domino and drag it, keeping your finger pressed on the mouse. Don't yes. forget to click on your green box after. Did you guys see they left some text to speech uh, placeholder speech in the new Prince of Persia? <laughs> no, really? And it sounds exactly like Heck Jr. from uh, Holly Heck Maybe Stream. Oh, no. <laughs> Congratulations to Heck Jr. for finally making the big time. 
Good going. You're the domino champion. Yay. This game is so mis is so There's just something psycho to this. You know what I mean? Am I am I it's wrong? It's pretty psycho. Okay. Just just Rayman in general it brings psycho vibes, but when you try to make it child friendly, considering it's uh, history is an infamously difficult game, it's just the vibes are off. I want to see what kind of treat we get for this. It's going to be really not worth it. It's going to be great. You ever want to see what Rayman looks like on the inside? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Excellent. Everything is in the right place. There you go. Goodbye. to see Jack Kevorkian. Thank that would that would be period appropriate. Well done. I'm impressed. Kids today don't know about Dr. Death. They don't. There he goes. Cool. All right, here we fuck go. This has got to be it, right? Then they're going to show us something so sick that we lose our minds. And our Twitch channel. Mm-hmm. Where did you learn to play so well? Excellent! You're an expert domino player, and now you're surprised. Here it is. All right, where's the surprise? Do you want to play again or change levels? Oh. And that's Rayman Activity Center. <laughs> Pretty lame, Rayman. I'm going to go here, see if there's any creativity things I can do. Anything at all. Can I color? Can I paint? Can I... Can you drive? Can you fly? Can you stretch up high? Here you are again in my house. Run along and find your favorite games. Okay, these are just all the games. Are these different games? Here, you can choose your option. Use the gramophone to turn the music on or off. Do you like this? Look at you this intuitive menu the screen. The radio and turn the volume up or down with the megaphone. To turn the gramophone and radio on or off, click on the switch. Click here to come back into the house. Yeah, it doesn't look like there are any, like, just activities that are you know okay here we go coloring book that's what i was looking for all Choose right a drawing you want to print oh does it just print just print okay so yeah it just prints color photos so look what happens when i click this it's gonna crash the game <laughs> so it's a coloring book where you don't color it in the app you print it out and then, uh -huh, color, and then it you color it <laughs> fuck you rayman yeah like i said it's not good fun kids activities it's just a bunch of other stuff that sucks yeah yeah with a name like activity you center you think you think activities when really it's just a bunch of bullshit educational mini games that reuse assets goodbye then see you soon the educational value is very mixed too i don't think i learned very much from that well there you go rayman activity center we did activities with mm -hmm. rayman up next, the Hardhead Activity Center. God, no. Thank you, Lauren Vincent Gregory. Ah, I want to play Rayman now. That game well, is... Well, you should. Do it. It's so good and so fucking hard. Localization Manager. Okay, was this released in France? I have so many questions. Could be. <laughs> Some poor French kids having to play this. Yeah, the Hapti Head uh, Activity Center. What would be in the Retro Palace Activity Center? Well, it wouldn't be for kids, first of all. Mm -mm. A lot of people worked on this. Uh, there would be a game where you drive the Blombie car off a cliff. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. There would be a game where you uh, 
uh, drop Rolo off the cliff. It's just a bunch of games where you drop things off the cliff. Yeah, you're just dropping shit off cliffs, honey. If anyone has better ideas for gameplay than that, uh, you're going to need to consult with me. But there you go. Uh, various activity centers and multimedia CD-ROMs for Windows, courtesy mm-hmm. of Alex. Thank you, Alex. You're welcome! I don't fuck with this. It's the only the only way this stream got running as well as it did is because of Alex's efforts, so thank you for that. You're welcome. I love putting together multimedia streams. That Sailor Moon game was a very specific artifact of uh, early localized anime, and mm-hmm. I really appreciate that. It was also, man, that, that Hades game was really good. Yeah, Very high quality. The Rayman game, I kind of appreciated just for being so divorced from the original concept of the game, even though it uses all the original graphics and assets. It's just a real, it's a real uh, mind fuck, is how I would describe <laughs> it. As I'm sure a lot of kids described it too back in the day. I'll be back on Wednesday with what our patrons voted to see, and what they want to see is Super Nintendo launch lineup rankings. We're going to play the very first Ooh. Super Nintendo and Super Famicom games ever made, and then we're going to rank them on a big list. Ooh. So tune in Wednesday to argue for or against <laughs> uh, your, your, your Windows games. It'll be a lot of arguments. Thank you, Orange Thank Wright, you for, for the, the Windows, Windows 98, 98 bits. bits. It is Windows 98 that I'm using, so yeah. Yeah, thanks, folks. We'll see you on Wednesday. Alex, why don't you wrap us up? We're also on Patreon, as Danny said. Patreon.com slash RetroPals. Pitch in at least five bucks a week. You get a vote on what we play every Wednesday. So if you'd like to support us directly, consider that. We also have a YouTube channel, YouTube.com slash RetroPals. We post full-length highlights of our streams there, including our latest one, which is a patron gauntlet, correct? Yep. All right. It's a patron gauntlet. We play, it's a really, really long one, so you can settle in. Uh, get cozy and just watch hours and hours and hours of us playing your requests. It's a good one. Next up, we have a blue sky and a co-host. I'll put those links in the chat here. You can join us there uh, and follow us there to find out when we go live, when we got new videos on, up on YouTube, and all the Retro Pals news you can use. So do consider that, folks. Okay, my decision is made. Ore no Ryori spotted on my uh, Twitch timeline, so we're going to raid Sebmal, who is playing Ore no Ryori, this uh, PlayStation 1 cooking game. I'm sure if you know it, you'll you'll recognize it on site, but this is a good one, so mm-hmm. go cheer him on. Have a good rest of your day, and we'll see you later. Thanks for watching. See ya, folks. <laughs>